What is up guys? Welcome to the video. So um, it's nighttime right now. I'm kind of filming like another intro. I filmed one in my car, but I'm filming another one. So uh, I hope you guys are having a good day. My name is Kyle Beats if you don't know who I am. Today I made a crazy beat. I'm gonna put some commentary over it. The beat is insane. The beat is ridiculous. The beat is hard. The beat is everything you've ever wanted. <laughs> I'm getting a lot of good feedback on Instagram, Twitter, all that stuff from the beat. And uh, yeah, we're out here making beats. If you're not subscribed yet and you've been watching these videos or if this is your first time watching me, make sure you click the subscribe button. We're out here making memories. We're out here telling a story. We're out here doing stuff let's get to 67,000 let's get to 70 bro we're almost at 70 that's crazy oh imagine oh, 70 and then 30,000 more and we're at a hundred thousand subscribers what hope you enjoy this video if you enjoy it make sure you drop a like I just wanted to film this intro because I filmed one earlier and it was kind of weird so I'm gonna show you guys too in here kind of how to chop up samples how I chop up samples a little mini tutorial I like throwing these mini, mini tutorials in there too so you guys can enjoy the vlog you guys can learn something you guys can get inspired really hitting on all cylinders but yeah I hope you guys enjoy the video thank you for watching let's get into the video in three What is up guys? So I'm just gonna lay some commentary over this. I kind of just wasn't feeling inspired early in the morning. I kind of just used the music to inspire me. Once I got those two simple melodies down, it really just set the pace for the whole beat. Um, and I knew I had something, because I feel like when you're trying to play melodies off a sample that you find, it's kind of hard sometimes. This beat was more, I feel like this beat, the percussion and hi-hats and drums were a lot more carefully laid out and carefully mixed and not fully mixed yet, but. Power that vocal sample with drums and same with the other way around you don't want the vocal sample to outpower the drums either basically what I did is just copied copied and pasted the 808 pattern just into a kick drum and then centered everything to C5, which is what my kick drum was set at. All these sounds are from the Kingdom drum kit for the most part. The kick, the hi-hat, the clap.
So, so this beat is crazy. This beat is legit. I just posted it on my Instagram. This beat's super dope. So a lot of people have been messaging me about it already. So clearly it's it's a really good beat. But I just wanted to show you how to like, it's, it's literally just some raw sample from some random YouTube video. So I kind of want to break down, I haven't even gone through this any of this yet, so it might take me a second. Um, I want to break down the vocal sample and just how I like to use vocal chops, vocal samples, whatever you want to call them, in FL Studio. Here's the original sample. My heart skips a beat Just skip around. I feel like there's a certain type of like someone can be a really good singer but there's certain type of singers like ellie golding duffy this girl billy eilish there's a certain type of like girl singers that just i don't know for me just like i can just hear them perfectly in samples i mean you can use anything you want but i basically took a little bit part took a little part of that chopped it out of that song it's the part with no instrumental or anything it sounds like this basically pitched it down right there and I'm gonna play you kind of what it, what it sounds like now just the sample of how I chopped it up and then I'm gonna show you what I did so here's what it sounds like now because you want to make it because I could have used that and looped it and it was fine but for me I mean you can do that it's fine no one really knew the song or anything anyways I don't think I don't know do you guys know the song what I like to do is kind of like excite myself I don't want to use the same thing I want to switch it up and make I almost like made my own little meaning out of it I'm gonna show you what it sounds like now but you never came back and then it drops to the beat right there I basically took this sample right here uh, took the sample dragged it in and I basically used the stretch clicked on the stretch and stretched it out until I got it where I wanted it and then you unstretch it come up here none come down here boom so i kind of just used this slicer tool found different parts that i liked just i just found different areas i liked the first one i like sounds like this chopped it up you know what i mean found a part blah 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 like whenever the piano was playing i used the piano and based it around like whenever the i heard the piano chords Duh. i kind of used that for each each one of these little sections so it would kind of make sense and then from there you saw in the video i just played off of it but you never came back you almost want to treat the samples more as like a vox like a vox that you're using more than once type of thing like a bunch of individual voxes because someone needs someone needs to rap over it you know what i mean so you gotta leave some room for that i might even take more stuff out and do more effects to it and then this part right here this little breakdown it's a cool breakdown But yeah, I don't know. I hope you guys learned something from that. That's just how I chopped it up. Uh, I just wanted to show you guys that, just to show you how I like to chop up samples for trap beats. For those of you guys who don't know, for those of you who don't know, I'm in Massachusetts now, so it's freezing here. I hate it. I used to live in Florida. This freezing cold weather is not ideal but this is a temporary spot for my life right now but yeah i was kind of just in there making a beat man this fucking beat's crazy welcome to the video just gonna head out i've just been in the studio for a while i'm just gonna head out i don't know what i'm gonna do i might just like get something random from some from like starbucks or i put the beat that i just made on my phone so i'm gonna listen to it also while i'm driving what you got burn with the fire that you wanted in me i'm still getting used to holding this camera while I while I use it, the the microphone's right on top. I'm trying to tell a story in each one of these videos. I'm not just trying to do uh, beat making. I'm, I'm I throw tutorials in there. I definitely show you guys a lot of things, 
um, throughout these videos but my goal out of this is to give you guys vlogs give you guys experiences rather than just showing you how to do something um, and I'm, I'm already doing it I'm getting e I get I have so many emails every day saying how I inspire you guys but sometimes it's just like I'm just I'm just waking up and I'm just what the fuck am I gonna do <laughs> like, I wake up and I'm just like all right what am I gonna do today <laughs> like what is on the agenda today watch your car burn Yeah, that's the end of the video. Uh, I hope you guys learned something. I hope you guys like this beat. This beat is crazy. Drop a like on this video if you like it. Let's take 600, let's take 600 likes. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys in the next one. Drop a like. Make sure you subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one. Okay, all of this footwork put in. She got me hurting. She got me hurting. I hate that my patience yay thin. Damn it, I know I'm not perfect. Damn it, I know I'm not. I don't say much and I blow a lot. I don't know much about the K, y'all. No, I don't know shit. I just grow a lot. Please do not pitch me no favors. What am I rocking? Unchecked before.